early uh, fight of the night candidate. That was a uh, fantastic fight. How did you feel in there? Man, I feel great. You know, uh, uh, Leno Garcia, he hit, he hits hard. He hits uh, really hard, and uh, it, it was a fun fight. It was, I, I had fun in there, and uh, hopefully we get that uh, fight of the night bonus. That'd be awesome. It seemed like there were a couple times you were surprised that he was still standing there. I mean, you hit him with a lot of good shots. I mean, was it was it frustrating to have him keep coming at you when you were you know hitting him with some good stuff? Not really. You know, I, I'm not a power puncher like everyone think think uh, think I am. I, I, I'm more of a guy. I'm just gonna keep hitting, hammering the nail down, and just try to get you down. If not, I'm not gonna get frustrated. You know, and uh, but he was hitting me some good ones for sure. Leonard was hitting me some good ones. He kind of got me in the third round a good one, and uh, thank God I was still on my feet. You took this fight on short notice, and the outcome obviously was different from the last time when you took a fight on short notice with Dustin Poirier. So how did you feel about coming into this and just basically accepting the fight and doing your best that you could in there? You know, um, I'm not going to use that short notice against Garcia. You know, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not his fault I took the fight. UFC didn't tell me uh, I had a gun to my head telling me, take the fight or else I'm cut, you know. I took the fight because I really wanted to fight, and uh, I felt good in there, you know. I, I wish I had a little bit more gas, but I'm not going to use that uh, I'm on short notice thing like other fighters do. This is your third fight this year. How did it feel to get so much work in the UFC after coming in on that loss with Dustin Poirier? Um, it, was, uh, my, it was my fourth fight. Uh, oh, I, I lost one, and I'm on three winning streak now, and uh, it feels good to be on a winning streak. You know, uh, at my age, you know, maybe uh, get a couple more fights in and try to beat John Jones' record as the youngest champion in the uh, UFC ever. You mentioned your age, you just turned 21. Do you, do you get to go enjoy a beer in the casino now? Or, uh, uh, no, I, I don't drink, man. I don't drink. Uh, I don't really like the taste of it, but I get to gamble. That's, that's pretty fun. <laughs> you go, uh, hopefully get a, a nice paycheck and then go out there and throw a little on the table? Yeah, a little bit. Not too much. You know, we got New Year's coming up, and my uh, I, got, I got a little son turning one years old on January 4th. Happy early birthday, son, and uh, get him whatever he wants. My coach Brimage just said that he would like the winner from the fight. Uh, would that be a fight that interests you? You know, uh, they told me, they was giving me that name, Marcus Brimage, uh, for February, and uh, that, that was too long, man. That was too long. It would have been six months I would have been out, and uh, I didn't want to wait six months. So when I had this short notice fight, I jumped on it, and uh, you know, uh, wh whoever UFC, UFC wants to put me, I'd, I'd gladly fight them. Uh, anybody else UFC put me against, I, I'd, I'd love to fight them. But there was a controversial split decision between you and Leonard. Uh, you felt confident that, that this was going to be your fight? Yes, I, I feel really confident that uh, it was going to be my fight. You know, I pr finally got to prove that, uh, thank God, uh, they, uh, we had judges that didn't think takedowns is superior and winning. You know, uh, he took me down that second round, but I got right back up. It's not like he had me there for like a full minute or a minute and a half. So I feel like the first two rounds went my way. And then the third round, I think he, he probably won because he took me down and hold me down, actually. And then I did the kick, and he got a takedown because of the kick. So I, I'm, I'm sure that was the right call. What did you and Leonard say to each other after the fight when you were both in, the, in center ring? Uh, me and Leonard prayed. We prayed. Uh, we were thanking Jesus. Uh, he's a godly man. I'm a godly man. We both. He asked me to pray, so uh, we prayed. Thank you for an injury free night for both of us, and thank you uh, for letting uh, Jesus Christ put us put on a show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.